Hello, J Man here, and welcome back to We Happy Few. Uh, today, we're going to raid Dr. Faraday's lab for um, some castor oil, and uh, we're going to show you all what happens to the meat boy. So, all right, let's get into it. What's your fancy? Lovely day for it. What can I do for you today? Let me see. Come again soon. Doesn't you never happen. know when we'll have something new. All right. I'm going to cover this bottom area, but if there's nothing there, I'm going to just go ahead and go up here then. Mainly just when something interesting is there. A new shipment, any... Uh, I don't suppose you have any exotic pharmaceuticals? The old top shelf? Oh, I might. I might. <laughs> oh, you should have seen me back in the day. I used to be the city's leading supplier of uh, top shelf goods. Before Verloc poached my top shelf girl, <laughs> I have been trying to brew a little something. I've an idea for an antidote for the fog. That would be handy. Thing is, I need samples. One from Amlin Village, one from the Garden District. Oh, I'd go myself, but oh, you know how it is running a shop. <laughs> busy, busy. Do you think you could get me some samples? Or I'd give you the recipe for me fog antidote and, well, I do have a few bottles left on the old top shelf <laughs> from back in the day. Just take this device into a patch of fog and let it go all the way through its cycle. You might want to wear a gas mask. <laughs> so I just take this fog sucker into a patch of pea soup, wait for it to cycle and then bring both samples back to you? There you go. <laughs> a word to the efficient is sufficient. Okay. Seems simple enough. Afternoon. You Have go. you got the statue? Oh, splendid. Sarah will be thrilled. Here, oh, I think you'll like this. You certainly know how to handle yourself, don't you? Do you think you could take care of one more delicate matter? I'll make it worth your while. Well, I suppose I could. The plowboys have been giving me trouble. Want me to pay them for not breaking anything. Normally I rely on the constable, but he thinks he might be called away tomorrow. Could you help, you know, keep the peace? I'll need you here when I open the shop in the morning. Uh oh, I got that 10. Take less damage from most attacks. And I got a plans for better gas mask? I got plans for a better gas mask. So I gotta be here tomorrow. Alright. How do I find out what happens in the meat point? I gotta go all the way down there? Okay. Okay, I've made it. Patient person. Are you... Fanny? What if I was? I'm looking for Edmund, the butcher's boy. He's late. He's always so punctual. Someone saw him going into the alley. You know, the one that always smells like cheese. Did you look for him? I'm not going back there. That's where the plowboys convene. The street gang? Oh dear, I have a terrible feeling he's in trouble. Maybe I should go and see if I can't straighten things out for him. I got you. Let me get out that, uh, the bobby shot grenade, just in case. Hey, leave him alone! Hey! 
don't you pick on someone who can defend himself? Why the do that? Oh, it's Arthur Hastings, Miss Victoria's pet. Boys, this is our lucky day. Oh, y'all are weak. Take you. Oh, y'all are weak. Oh yeah, I got that special perk that they run off it once somebody is defeated and they're weaker than me. What are the odds of that? Arthur! You are right. My legs won't walk. I, I think they're broken. Did the plow boys say why they were hurting you? They said they were having their fun. Here, I'll take you to the pub. They'll get you a doctor. They knew me there. Sometimes they give me treats. I don't want to be a meat boy anymore, Arthur. Do you want me to tell the butcher? He'll be mad that I didn't deliver the packages. Do you want me to deliver them for you? You're good, Arthur. Percy always said so. I bet he'd let you be the new meat boy if you wanted. The, the packages always say where to go. He writes them so we don't get lost. Arthur? D -d don't leave me here. Do you remember Percy? Of course I remember Percy. He's my brother. It's just... people forget things. Oh no, Miss... Mm. Victoria said he was dim. But he wasn't. He was smart. And he never lied. Most people lie all the time. Did you know that? Yes. I'm afraid I'm one of them. But you're good, Arthur. Percy said so. I'm gonna find him. I promised I'll take care of him. I am so glad that they are not hostile towards me carrying him. Do you know where he is? Go around the corner. Somewhere in Germany or Russia. Is that very far away? Yes. Is it very cold there? Yes, but I'm afraid it is. You will take your joy immediately. Eddie! Who did this to you? Was it a Playboys? Kill him. You're a decent sort to bring him in. We'll take care of him, don't you worry. Here, have a drink on the apes. There you are. What's your pleasure, then? Ooh, look at that. Ooh, they got pot. Just looking. All right. Well, I got a long ways to go. First, I gotta deliver this package. Can I make more fash on here? I'll make two. Might as well go ahead and make another mojo. Immediately. Sorry about the wait. Oh, that's a relief. And this is for him. Mushrooms? Oh, no, dear. I supply him with the very freshest meat. Anyone can put a trap where they like to run, you see. But they won't go for V-meat anymore. I make it smell a bit rotten. They run right in. Can't help themselves. I'll bear that in mind. I hear he's open to... New sources. New sources? Oh, never mind. I'll just ask him myself. Brilliant. I'll just take this back to him. What do you mean by new sources? 
mean by that? Here's your package. I've got your package. You are a dear. And here's a package for the butcher. Am I supposed to pick something up? I found some mushrooms in the attic. I'm pretty sure they're edible. And a tin of axle grease. And some bee meat. I won't eat it when it goes off like that. What does he do with all that? Oh, that's his special magic power. He makes sausages out of the most atrocious things and they taste wonderful. I'm sure he'll give you one. It's how he pays the deliveries. Well, that's something to look forward to. Hmm. So he takes nasty things and then turns them into good tasting things. But, oh my god. I thought it crashed right then. I was about to be real, real upset. And here's yours. I think I have a package for you. Yeah, this is it. Oh, lovely, lovely. Won't my man be pleased? It's so hard to find a decent cut of meat these days. About that. Where does he get the meat? Oh, oh, oh. Transubstantiation, I hope. <laughs> Thanks so much and have a lovely day. I'm off to see the butcher. A wonderful butcher of ours. Bro, I'm about to die. Well, you know, teleport back. But I'm definitely coming back to rob all these houses later. And all these houses down here. Well, the two houses that are down here. I'm definitely robbing them. But off to the butcher. Alright. Now I'm here. Morning. I got all your well, stuff. I don't suppose you've seen my meat boy, Edmund. The, uh, plowboys broke his legs. Oh, that's a damn shame. He's simple, you know, but reliable. I dropped off his packages, and, uh, the ladies gave me these. Oh, lovely! There's quite a shortage of cows in Amlin, I can tell you that. <laughs> Listen, we've got one small, uh, errand. If you're up for it, I'll give you what I pay Edmund. An errand? Another pickup. Kind of big. How big? How tall would you say you are? Six foot? About six feet big. My, uh, source had it on a cart. Here, we'll give you a map. It's, um, it's near where that statue used to be. You, you know, the, the, the Mad Hatter and the White Rabbit and the, 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 the woman. You know, where they were going to build a band shell, but then they didn't. I know the place. I, uh, can't make any promises. Of course not. Not is as good as a wink. Say no more. Say no more. I'll make sure that they write on the package where you're supposed to take it. It's a bit uh, awkward to bring it directly here. Bruh, this guy got me picking up a body. Possibly heinous. Yeah. This guy got me picking up a dead body. I'm, I'm pretty 100% sure. Yeah. I know it. I'm about to get murdered. Possibly hand this package. A large package. But let's be careful. Where is it for starters? Is that where the Mad Hatter statue is? Please keep clear of the area, sir. We are conducting an investigation into a possibly heinous package. Yeah. Remove the possibly heinous package. All right, I right, bet. Let me uh, let me find a bench real quick. I need to find a bench or something. I gotta hide. Might be bad. I might be done for. Never mind. They're walking right past me. This is why the stealth suit's so good.
Why do I can throw this so little distance? Oh god. I can't cancel it. Be discreet. Oh, I can't. That's right, walk right past. And just like that, I'm in the clear. Now I just need to make my way there. Best to head forward. There we go. You can take your joy immediately. It's not open. Now I do got two missions I gotta do. Gotta do that one. And I gotta do the one up here. So going to the one up here first. Put on the gas mask. I need to be in a specific place rather than I thought it was just Oh, it's in my inventory. I don't know how noisy this is. Alright, got it. Good to go. Now I need to go to the garden district. Okay, now, hopefully, this time, it does not crash. Watch your fancy. Please don't crash. Wait. 
Well, 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 Lionel. Your constable shrunk a bit, hasn't he? Who's gonna protect you now? You best clear off! My friend's going to settle your hash! Oh, are you? You heard, Lionel. Clear off! You better not be here when I get back with my mates! That was incredible! Thank you! Oh, I hope you can handle yourself as well when there's more than one of them. That's easy. What you gonna do? There's the bastard! Get him! I knew you'd come back! Help me! Back for more punishment, are ya? Come at me. You ain't got nothing to protect yourself. Happy. Oh, what happened? Bop. That was incredible. Inspiring. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. Or you can open just about anything mechanical with this. Oh, I can make shock grenades now. That gave me an eight pointer. Too bad I'm not putting it into nothing else. I don't really care about making them bleed. Let's see how many points I can stack now. All right, now I'm at the chemist. How can I help you? That's quite helpful. Now I'll be able to make an antidote for this bloody fog. Oh, and you're welcome to buy from my top shelf. Oh, I don't suppose you could do me a favor. Uh, Mrs. Cheney was here to buy some ingredients. And now I think about it, I'm afraid she might have been up to a little home chemistry. I'd hate for people to think that I'm brewing experimentals, you know. Sally Boyle doesn't work here anymore. This is a respectable shop. Could you see if she's all right? Discreetly like. And if you could retrieve the uh, ingredients from her house, you'd be doing her and me both a favor. All right. Oh, I got a final steroid. Nice. What's your top shelf? Morning. What you got in here? Ain't nothing in here. Nice to see you. All right. But before I do that, it's time to check out whatever the meat boy thing is on the web here. Okay, let's see what you got for me. What can I do for you today? Arthur Hastings! You are an intrepid young man. You've done me a solid. They don't make them like you anymore. Well, we suppose they don't make them at all anymore. <laughs> Here, the least I can do is give you what I gave poor Edmund. Look, my job has been getting complicated. I could certainly use an apprentice. Do you like a permanent position? Edmund's a good lad, but he's always been a bit limited. And my work has become so challenging of late. I've had to go to extraordinary measures to keep this tank fed. We are in an extraordinary situation, aren't we? You were so helpful in bringing me that package. Now, we need to process it. I'm going to help process that package. I'm not proposing you hurt anyone, you understand? Just ignore a silly old taboo. <laughs> through that door if you're willing to help. I can't believe I'm even considering this. Maybe I should just walk out and report into the police. People do have to eat, though. It won't be an easy choice to unchoose. And people say you can't get good help these days. Things. No windows. That's not ominous at all. 
Welcome to Cutty's Mechanical Kitchen, featuring the very latest in meat packing technology. It used to take days to dismantle a carcass. With my new inventions, one apprentice can reduce a carcass to its edible parts in no time at all. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is the very first time we're running our machines on the real... material. What have I got myself into? Now, the first thing that I need you to do is obtain the package from the upstairs cold storage room. Don't worry. At no point will you have to unwrap the package. The magic all happens through the provided access valve. Okay. Ned Pickles. Ooh, Ned is First, dead. We must exsanguinate the package. Bring it downstairs to the exsanguinator. Downstairs. Before you make the package, you'll need to operate each machine once. Just to clear out any residue and check its operational soundness. We don't want to contaminate the product, do we? Oh, yeah. And now I connect them. Now, join the package to the exsanguinator via the provided access valve. Alright, let's mount it. Now, Turn the crank until the exsanguinator determines that the package no longer contains free liquids. We don't want anything to go to waste, do we? Ah, good. As you can see, each machine will release its package once it's accomplished its purpose. Efficiency is our watchword. Next up, Evisceration! That would be the... the eviscerator? You learn quickly! As before, engage the mechanism briefly to verify mechanical integrity. No time to read this now. Was it supposed to do that? Did you not see the bleeds come out? No, just... just sparks. Also, a, a metal thing just fell out of the main bit. Oh dear. The cognitics were overloaded again. I thought we'd fix that. Uh, maybe you better come down here and fix it again. Ha! Ah, uh, I'm sure you can manage on your own. There's a spare one in the cupboard downstairs. There's only one way to insert it. No time to read this now. Downstairs, okay. That's upstairs. Clearly wants me to stay away from the cellar. Is that the way out, I wonder? So the cellar is the way out. It's good enough. It's in! Here we go! Try the button again. Oh my goodness. Good as new! Well, it's actually quite new, so. You know. Anyway, we're back in action. You can attach the package now. Well mounted, lad. Well mounted. Excellent. When the eviscerator is done, the package will be dismounted, ready for another package. Uh, another package? Once I achieve a steadier stream of raw material, I would have to keep these machines running all day. Or at least long enough to... Take advantage of any surplus protein that could be obtained in Wellington Wells. Now for the final process. Bring the package to the exfoliator on the next floor. Exfoliator? Yep. It exposes the skin to steam, separating it from the muscle. And then it removes the skin, making it available for tannin. Or other purposes. I don't mean to be impertinent, but 
Shouldn't you do that first? No, oh, no, no. There are no stupid questions, only stupid answers. But that will result in a leakage of liquid. And you won't want to put it second either, because the package is much easier to manipulate with its skin on. I'm so glad I asked. On with the exfoliator! Press the button, check the functional integrity, und so weiter! I, I mean, and so forth! Now, mount the package on the exfoliator. Superb! The package will be released once it's fully exfoliated. Do you think exfoliator is the right word? I thought about decorticator, but it's sanguinate, eviscerate, exfoliate. Has a nice ring to it. Doesn't it? Definitely exfoliate. I'm so glad to hear that. I mean, it's a scalder, skinner, but that doesn't sound very official, does it? And the last machine is the extruder. I don't like the way he's saying all these words. Oh, ho, ho! that's it. The package is now fully prepared. We're ready for the extruder. Mind the package and let's get cracking. Ho oh, ho! I can barely contain myself. This is really the machine I'm proudest of. It's a combination meat grinder, pulper, and injection mold meat former. You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get the pieces. Now, up on my board, you'll see a list of orders. They've already filled in the addresses. All you have to do is press the right button. For example, if the order calls for one meatloaf and one meat cupcake, then you press the appropriate button and then you put the order in a pneumatic tube. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I see now. So it wasn't what he said, it was more like, uh, so this don't even matter now. Okay, that says one, one star, and then three rectangles. Now tell me, one star, three rectangles. One star, three rectangles. That is terrific. We have a feeling this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Okay, circle and the other circle. Wait, what? What is that? That's like the pie and then the blue? Oh. What is happening? I want you focusing on the job. This is no time to daydream. What in the world is this mission? I'm almost dead. You're a smart lad. Speed it up. Circle, circle, star. Uh, okay. What is happening? Come yeah, on! Don't dawdle. 
we've a responsibility to the former owner of that carcass to not waste the food. Okay, there are two circles. What is happening? You're a smart lad. Speed it up. You're doing well and doing good too. Time to win this deal. What is this? A brick and three stars. I want you focusing on the job. This is no time to daydream. Isn't it an amazing system? I'm quite proud of all the automation. Why don't you get some rest? I bet we fill twice as many orders tomorrow. I've got to find some way out of here. You're very good at justifying yourself. Okay. Dear Mr. Coley, thank you for the contribution to the next war effort. The troops greatly appreciate your sausages. We all think your patriotic efforts are smashing. Do keep up the good work, and we seriously consider your application to join the home army. Yours very truly, Lieutenant John Forstus? Forstus? I don't know. Written longhand. You don't need a... You don't need a buttonhole me every time I come to the into the shop bill it's not a matter of what you did is didn't you or didn't you do during the late great unpleasantness we all know that citizens were under a lot of pressure to cooperate with the G and even if at times you seemed a little extra enthusiastic we take a face value your pro prostations all right that that is just your wait what that that what in the world is just your manner however you are on the other the old side for a soldier old chap i will take a little while and perhaps a few more sausages before the boys are quite ready to put you through your paces as you put it uh, i suppose you learned that during the war what are you talking about i found your letter you were a child then you wouldn't understand. Oh yes, it was a happy, carefree time for us kids. I loved her. We were just two young people caught up in something bigger than ourselves. Well, that doesn't sound like what the home army's on to you about. You don't understand. I thought it would stay forever. I had to sell me. We had to get on. I suppose we all made our sacrifices. Have you done nothing that you regret? Or is it just that you have all your regrets neatly wrapped up in brown paper so you can pretend that you don't know how they got there? At least I look at the blood, and the flesh, and the bone. At least I... remember. August 30th. Have to be more careful. I accidentally put my hat next to the suction coupling, and it went right into the intake canister. Spent an hour pulling felt off the blades in the cyclone mincer. Imagine if that had been a bottle, or worse, a wrench. September 9th. Problem solved. Added a power cut off to the suction coupling. Now it won't even start up unless a package is mounted onto it. I'm going to add that same cutoff to all the machines to minimize accidents. Don't want Edmund's hand ending up in the V-meat. Ah, if I stuff that broken bit of the eviscerator into the package, it ought to clog up the works nicely, shouldn't it? All right. Are you ready for another day of serving people? I mean, uh, serving the people, of course. <laughs> My little chick. Never mind. Okay. Something's gone terribly wrong. There's smoke coming out. That doesn't seem good. The better I'd come down. Don't try anything clever. We've got a lot to do today. And it takes too long to recover from the spanker. Alright, alright. Go on, go on, go on. I gotta go. I 
think I'll just get my things and go. Apprentice to the extruder room, please. Apprentice. I don't see anyone else's things here. That's a good sign. You're not in the center of. All right, I got all my stuff back. But I don't think I can still be caught by him, though. I think he can still one-shot me somehow. For, for some reason, he can one-shot me. Ooh, all my stuff got repaired. What? He repairs all your stuff? Really? Okay. Like, all my weapons and stuff is repaired. Okay. Here's his journal. My dearest Mar Marita, I know I will never send this lever, but I cannot help myself. I must write to you. Even if I no longer know if you're alive or even if I am. We live in a world absurdly. We live in a world of absurdity. And the most absurd is that we are apart. I wish I had not been a coward and had joined you on the last train. It seems I am one coward after another. I don't even know what, the, what you loved in me. I wish to God that we meet in the afterlife. Until then, my sweet, my sweet, my dove, I am ever your love. P.S. Do you ever see my son? Is he well? Why am I asking? I won't even mail this letter. We don't even have the Royal Post anymore. Are you? Okay. If I get shocked by that, I think I'm just going to die. Uh, let me put on this. Okay, he almost saw me. He almost saw me. If he sees you, you're instantly done. You're instantly done if he sees you. I need him to go all the way around. This is going to take a minute. Come now. Most unbecoming behavior. You maniac. You blew it up. Oh. What's going on up there? I heard shouting. Where's Rich? Mr. Cutty's turning cadavers into V-meat. I barely escaped becoming V-meat myself. He's got these horrible machines in there that turn people into meat bunt cake. Human bunt cake? That's, that's monstrous. Is he armed? He has a rather nasty spanker, but I think he's a bit trapped in the cellar at the moment. Right. We'll knock out the power. Go spank him ourselves. Thank you, citizen. We'll take it from here. You can't do this to me! I'm a pillar of the community! It's all lies! I never! Those are all perfectly legitimate machines! I'm only trying to feed people! We're letting perfectly good meat go rotten! That's insane! What should give thought to becoming a vegetarian? Ugh. Well, at least I actually got out of there in a day. If you mess up, you're going to be stuck there for a long time until you get it right. So you better hope when you start that mission, you got your stealth stuff down. Okay, I got 21 points now. Let me uh, hold. There we go. Well, nothing to do. Oh, Muller's little helper. Huh. What's that about? 
Where is that? It's uh... Oh, it's all the way over there. Alright. Okay. I made it to her house. This was boarded up earlier. And, yeah, that's still jammed. But you couldn't go in here until you start the mission, so. Whoa. What's happened in here? Ooh. Nice place to visit. But I wouldn't want to live here. Ooh, a potato. And joy pill. Okay. Let's not mention this in the real estate listing, shall we? Oh my god. Oh my god. He is dead. I'll take those tea leaves, though. Ooh, and I am. Make more phyto steroids. Bookshelf, little light bulbs. Where's my? I need my flashlight. I meant my torch. Mrs. Shiny, huh? would you please kindly ask Mr. Shiny to come to the front door and open up for us? That's Ryan Thompson. Trey Pill. Teacups. I'll take those. There's Ned Cheney, Mr. Cheney. Mr. Cheney got a whole dresser not done. Rolling pin. Charcoal. In the world. Ooh. Coffee beans. Prestige Genshinator. No, nah, no, nah, no. You really know your way to throw something to distract people. The area of effect of throwing uh, distraction objects is increased. Cool. Cool. How did you do it? There were so many of us. You always so happy. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> There's never enough time anymore. Where did it go? Where's the anthranilic acid? Oh, there it is. I need my stove suit. Hyperidine? Hyperiodic acid? Sally Boyle's really a genius. Just one little yellow pill and you're good all day. But she's so expensive. So I try to make it myself. Stupid. Stupid. Ah. Sorry, Mummy. I ruined it. You never ruined a recipe in your life, did you? I'm going to fix it, Mummy. I reversed the formula. That should make an antidote. Right? I wish I paid more attention in science class. Let's see how this works. Oh, it's awful! I feel terrible. <laughs> so she tried to reverse engineer the formula into an antidote. Because she couldn't replicate the formula, the sunshine. She's talking about sunshine, because sunshine allows you to, uh, you know, go through your whole day without needing to actually take joy. But the problem with that is, oh my, oh my god. I'll take that cricket bat though, and the strange meat. Bro, the tub is filled with blood. What in the world happened here? Duct tape. In the 
squirrel. It's like it's that mul that's not multilane, that's something else. It's a lot of it. A lot of the residue. Hold on. This is a prime opportunity to take a good old save. Just in case you mess something up. I mean the game is allowing you to. Even though this place is technically you're breaking and entering. Okay, here we go. They, they, they wouldn't eat. You know? Just kept pushing my food around on their plates. Well, I'm not cleaning up after them. I'm not cleaning up ever again. They can sit there rotting until doomsday. Clean up after yourselves, you bastards! Oh my... Is she... She died. Okay, there's a key. I'll take the rotten and the yams. See what you got in this file case. See, this is why I love the side missions in this game. Every side mission is is crazy. Like like this one and the other one when I got kidnapped. Like, they're all crazy. Oh! Oh my god. Why are we doing this to each other? So she was still up. She was not dead. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know if that should be the opener or the other one I have being the opener. Oh my goodness. Somebody in the top. There's the altered formula. Why is it? There's blood in the sink? Let me read this diary. Oh god. Oh god. They're dead. They're dead and cold and wet and red. I suppose I lost my temper a bit there. She made it look so easy, always breezing in with a cheeky want to try something new. I just had the best idea and I had to whip it up like it was an omelet with a different cheese. And her notes were so clear that when I stole them, this is why you don't steal notes. This is why you don't. Hmm. Dang, I looked away for a second when I was, when I left off. Best idea on Hanson to whip out. She stole them. There we go. Like, they were some other Sally. Not the one who dressed so mod. Like some teacher's pet. Who lo who took careful notes. I don't remember what I did. No, that's a lie. I remember. They kept pushing my food around. And laughing. And laughing. My wife. I think I'll keep her. Excuse me? He said. I didn't know I was that strong. She made it look easy, like she spent more time getting dressed than brewing her chemicals. She's not carefree at all, she's terrifyingly smart. I should have known, I should have guessed. I mean, Arthur. So what would happen if I, it's in my inventory, I can use it. So what would happen if I were to use this? Cause what happened was she murdered everybody in this house. She killed them all. After trying her little drug on herself. Hmm. You know what? This is why you're allowed to save the game. Uh, 
Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this out. Y'all can't see me. Oh, I gotta change my attire because I'm a bit sketch. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. There we go. Well, let's see what happens. Take another save, just in case. Because they got manual save, and then you got the save you get from going in the hatch, and then you got a third save, which is the auto. So. Oh, I hope I'm not coming down with the plague. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, full innocent job. Well, that's all the time I have for this one. And next up, we will be doing the main mission, finally. Because I've been doing straight side missions, but let me be real with you. All them side missions, like... They feel like main... Like, every mission in this game feels like a main mission. Like, some of them are, like, shorter side, but some of them are, like, are crazy. Like, the one where you get kidnapped, which is, like, a three-part. And then the other one. The chaining one? Chaining one's crazy. It's crazy. She tried to make sunshine, I believe. And instead made some... Like... Some weird strength formula. That all made you go insane and gave him plague. That's why she died. But then she came back to life? I, I don't really know how that works. But, uh... Until the next one. J-Man out.